uh, okay, uh, thank you everyone. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, today's topic is linear animation, and hi everyone. Um, uh, my name is Zhao Jin Jiang, and this is my Chinese name. I also have an uh, uh, English name and another Chinese, uh, Chinese nickname called uh, Go San Gu Si, and this is my GitHub ID, Twitter ID, and the email address. Uh, so that's my uh, self-introduction. And today, so back to today's topic, the topic is uh, named Lean Animations. Uh, you may ask, uh, what does this word uh, Lean mean? Uh, just because I, I read several books called Lean, blah, 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 uh, it's all kind of, uh, all, uh, kind of book who tell you something uh, uh, easy to understand, easy to remember, and easy to practice. So. I really love this word lean. So uh, today's topic is uh, just uh, some way, uh, uh, lean way to do something. And uh, another uh, word is just uh, animation. So what does animation mean? Animation just means animation. Uh, but uh, today uh, we are talking as the right. So uh, the animation just means uh, some kind of animation could be implemented in CSS. Uh, maybe CSS anim uh, animation or transition. And the goal is uh, I want to help, help uh, all of you uh, to simply try animation into your product or design system. Uh, because uh, I found uh, sometimes we, uh, we love uh, animations. We, we, uh, we want to create some uh, creative uh, animation effects, but uh, it, al it always costs uh, too much time. But uh, when you create some products, uh, doing your job or, or build some, building some project, it, uh, the time is always limited. Uh, so uh, 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 a lot of friends of mine just uh, sp spend some time off work to try different animations. But how to uh, use these uh, animations uh, reasonably and uh, uh, with less cost in your real pro uh, product or your job? Uh, uh, maybe the lean uh, way to uh, create animation could help you. Okay. And uh, let's go to uh, question number one. Why we need animations? I think that's uh, some reasons uh, or some user requirement, just like there is something really important on your screen. So uh, we need animation to track users' eyes. And also uh, something has changed or something would, could, or should change. Uh, that peop uh, people maybe couldn't notice. So the animation could help you doing uh, this kind of job. And also, uh, at the last, uh, maybe just for fun or for art, or just show yourself uh, skillful enough to making some uh, animations. Uh, uh, yeah, honestly, uh, maybe this is uh, part of our life. So uh, also a requirement, uh, okay? and. Uh, there's, uh, for animation, there are some common scenario, I guess. Uh, 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 let's uh, talk one by one. Uh, the first one is showing and heading something, uh, just like components or dialogues or pages. Uh, so the uh, second one is I uh, call uh, macro feedback, just like when you uh, when you hover on a button or click a button, uh, you may find the button. Uh, have some uh, little bit of change to tell you as the button you have clicked or have hovered on. Uh, so the, the, uh, uh, the first two is uh, quite common, but the last two I think is real, uh, also important. The first uh, one is emphasize. Uh, that means uh, maybe there are some uh, primary button or ac uh, action point really important, but uh, you uh, you want to make sure user could pay, pay attention to it, so uh, maybe you uh, make some little animation to uh, uh, attract user's attention. So, and the last one is the lo logic or uh, regularity. Uh, yeah, uh, I will uh, explain more details later. Okay. And next, when we got some common scenarios, the next thing is just find all these kind of scenarios in your product and choose, appropriately choose uh, animations for each of them. Uh, 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 that sounds simple, but maybe not. Just like this, uh, how to draw a horse. You could easily do the, 
number step one to step step four. But what happened? Uh, to s how to do is to 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 make the final things happen. Maybe it seems simple, but uh, really hard. So uh, yeah, we we uh, we should find some way to do uh, uh, the the last step. So uh, how to choose or how to make this kind of uh, animation effect is really important. So let's talk about how to choose uh, animation effects first. Uh, my first advice, rule number one, is just get some inspirations from the reality or uh, real world, because uh, maybe your users are not familiar, unfamiliar with your product, but everyone have some real life, uh, real world live experience. So uh, we could find some, get some inspirations from the real world, and just uh, 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 apply this kind of animation effect to your product. To help you better understand your product, okay. And uh, here I want to show a really special and particular case that uh, animation effects from the real world. Uh, this is a video. Uh, it's a uh, uh, IBM seven two nine magnet tape unit. So this machine is just rotating uh, in different ways. Uh, uh, yes and. Uh, uh, this is the real world things. So we just uh, just uh, build this kind of uh, animation effects in our uh, UI for some loading spinner, right? Uh, it's uh, it potentially tell users uh, maybe uh, nothing had happened, but the machine, uh, your application is still uh, working, busy, busily working uh, uh, behind. So. Uh, just be patient and wait. Uh, as in uh, uh, this case is really uh, special and uh, interesting. So that's the one case uh, from animation effects fr from the real world. Okay. And next, uh, okay, sorry. Okay. And also today we could also find more inspiration or design materials or uh, some cases from the internet. You can just search and find a lot of design resource on design uh, materials. So that's another way, uh, really easy, to help you. OK, so uh, rule number two, how to choose animation, is just uh, to fit the characteristic of your product, or, or just fit the, st uh, the style of your product. I think that's uh, really important, because you could find all kinds of different uh, animation effect, but what what kind of animation is just fit your product? Is, uh, it's really important. Uh, you should think. Uh, for example, uh, uh, would you like your animation effects more soft or hard, or more fast or slow, or more or less? That's all uh, really important uh, to reflect your, uh, your your style or product and uh, uh, gives your user different feelings. Okay, so uh, so that's uh, uh, rule number two, and so uh, I will give you some demos today. Uh, so uh, for today's demo, what I have chosen, I will show you first. The uh, first one is just showing, showing, and has just uh, sliding, uh, slide left or, or right. It's just from the uh, real world case, right? Uh, that's the first first uh, uh, kind of animation uh, fact. But I think uh, just one kind of animation effect for uh, showing or hiding uh, things is not enough. So the second one is fading and fade out, just like uh, 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 day and uh, day and dark uh, uh, change uh, in gradient. Okay. And the third one uh, I choose for it's like a shade right uh, of your window, so you can roll up, roll down uh, uh, from the top. So it's also for the real world. So the three kind of uh, animation effects to uh, show or hide things. And for emphasizing or micro feedback, uh, I choose some uh, kind of pop up effect, just like your pet or just like dog uh, jumping on you to attract your attention. Right? Okay. <laughs> and the last one is bounce. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so. I will uh, explain later, uh, as I mentioned before, okay? just to show some logic or regularity. 
Okay, so here's the demo time, uh, and uh, this is uh, can. Okay, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, uh, that's the demo I prepared for today's topic, and uh, maybe the text is a little smaller, but I can uh, I could explain one by one. The first uh, animation I want to show is. Uh, devs navigation. For example, if I uh, click this uh, link to go to a deeper path of your application, it will slide from uh, right uh, uh, right to left. It will uh, uh, implying users uh, maybe there is a uh, some kind of depth of your different uh, pages. If I uh, continue to click next. Uh, maybe I go to a, a more uh, a deep, deeper path, and then uh, again. And also, if we uh, click pre previous button, previous button is uh, should uh, from left to right. So it's a kind of logic or regularity to uh, partition uh, to let the users potentially know uh, the, the the logic. Uh, and also, it's uh, showing show showing and hiding things in your application. So it's a uh, uh, first uh, example. A second example is uh, some layers. For example, if I click the button, uh, something happened. Uh, so uh, something happened at the same time. F uh, first thing is when I click the button, the button will uh, pop up a little bit. Uh, so it give you a uh, micro feedback that you will click the button. Uh, the second thing is the whole screen will uh, uh, there will be a gray mask on the whole screen. Uh, so uh, try to hide something not important or not uh, not, uh, not should be attention. So, and the third thing is just pop up a a, a dialog to uh, track your attention to notice there is a dialog you should a uh, dialog you should care about. Okay. Uh, so when I uh, click confirm or cancel. Uh, the green mask will disappear, fade out, and uh, the, uh, the dialog will uh, 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 drop down and uh, uh, back to uh, back to the page. Okay. Uh, same thing, uh, similar things. When you uh, pop up a uh, uh, action sheet, it will slide from uh, bottom up, uh, and also you when uh, we. Uh, Choose one option; it will uh, slide down. Okay. Also, uh, the filter or uh, drop down, select. When I click, it's just like a, a, a roll up, and so it's uh, some kind of layers. Okay. That's a second example. And now let's uh, go to the next example. Uh, this one is more uh, complex. So please watch carefully if I open the list. So uh, this animation fact uh, telling three uh, independent things at the same time. Uh, the first thing is you should read the list from top <coughs> to bottom because it, uh, it appeared one by one from top to bottom. So it uh, tells you the, uh, the the logic or the regularity, and the second thing is there is no more uh, there there uh, there would be might be more uh, list items uh, uh, on the bottom uh, uh, after uh, uh, below is so you could just scroll it up, scroll it uh, down to find more information, and the third thing is it just Tell user there is no more item above because it's bounce to the top, just like hitting a wall. So no more uh, content above. So that's the uh, animation of effect of this list. Well, we can check it out again. So here it is. Okay, and uh, the last example is type bars. So uh, just similar to list, but it's the horizontal effect. And there, uh, and there are two different type bars. The first one, there are only four options. 
So it could all display in the, uh, uh, the whole screen width. So there is no uh, animation. You could find everything. Uh, but for the second one, uh, the option is uh, couldn't, uh, you couldn't display all the options at the same time. So we use animation to tell users that is more. And you, you should read it from left to right. And there is no more tab, uh, no more tabs uh, 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 left side. So that's all. Uh, yeah, here is the uh, four different examples to show animation effects. Uh, that's a demo. And uh, after that, uh, you may ask uh, how to implement uh, this kind of uh, animations. And uh, I found there are two different ways, common ways, to implement the uh, animation effects uh, with CSS. And one method is one way is just find some. Math formulas or physics formulas uh, from the real world. Uh, if you find them, uh, maybe you could just implement by CSS transition. Uh, you you could just change the duration and timing function. That's a uh, red two uh, most important properties to uh, implement the uh, the uh, animation effects through some formulas. And the second way is just simulating. Uh, the animations by free, frame by frame. You could define some keyframes and find some way to record uh, each keyframe from the real world and just uh, code them down uh, as a CSS animation keyframes. So that's the two uh, common ways to implement uh, animation effects. Okay, uh, so it's time to show some code. I have prepared, and this is the source code uh, of uh, the demo. And the whole project is uh, implemented based on Vue.js. But for CSS, for any submission part, it's just uh, framework ag uh, agnostic. So just uh, pure CSS code. So you could see uh, the left side is all the uh, animation effects uh, in, uh, written in CSS. Uh, the first part is just uh, some formulas, uh, physics formula or uh, math formulas. For example, slide left, right, or uh, fade in, fade out, or pop up, or uh, drop down. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, uh, I think uh, any of you that just love CSS and you are all familiar with CSS uh, transition uh, and animation, so I, uh, I won't go, to go into the details, but just show you how uh, I just write all the CSS code uh, together uh, as a, some fundamental uh, style sheets. And that's the first part. And the second part is keyframe, just like the bounce, bounce top or bounce left. Maybe uh, I should change the name to bounce in line or both bounce block. But it's, uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, for this, uh, this two animation effect, I just uh, record uh, every keyframe I uh, and code it up. So uh, that's a two different ways to implement CSS animations. Uh, you uh, you may be interested uh, how to implement the animation effects on list one by one. It's uh, actually it's a feature in Vue.js. So it have a, a building a component named transition group. So it just Find an event, uh, a, a, a peer event, and uh, uh, and and uh, find the index of the list item and just uh, write a timeout. So uh, it so it uh, uh, performs like one by one, one after another. So it's a small trick. Okay, okay. So that's the code, and yeah, uh, that almost almost uh, all of this topic. So some takeaways. Uh, went to uh, the user requirement, right? Uh, something important or something has would could change, and uh, yeah, the common scenario is just emphasize things, uh, micro feedback, show or has things, or just some logic or regularity, uh, and how to find uh, appropriate uh, animation effects just from the reality and at the same time fit the characteristics or style of your product. And the uh, last thing is the way to implement just from formula or keyframes.
So uh, that's almost uh, all of this. And the further uh, one for the reading, if you already practice this kind of animation effects well, uh, you may challenge yourself to do more. I highly recommend this. It's the 12 principles of animation from Disney. Yeah, the, uh, this great company uh, summarized 12 different principles of animation. That's more, uh, I think it's more helpful to build more brilliant, uh, uh, fascinating animation effect. So that's a uh, further reading for all of you. So uh, yeah, I think it's done. Uh, that's my first public en en English uh, speak speech. So thank <laughs> you. Thanks. <laughs> Available, and uh, let's take a 10 minute break so as you can ask questions if you uh, want to. And as promised, I have stickers here. Uh, so we'll come back in 10 minutes for our uh, second and third uh, okay, Sorry, uh, so for those who are leaving the Singtel premise, so remember to return your.